Ladies and gentlemen, Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions welcomes you to yet another season of India Insight. Envisioned by Mrs. Prema Rajagopal, the founder of this institution, way back in 2004, the objective ever since has been to enhance the knowledge of India and appreciate the diverse culture of this nation. As our young children take part from various corners of the world, over the last couple of years in the digital avatar, this contest has reached over 20,000 students across 10 countries. We at the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions truly appreciate and acknowledge the support and patronage given to us by all the participating schools, their teachers and managements. Before we begin, it is our pleasure and privilege to invite a well-known educator and a passionate teacher from the Vidyaniketan group of institutions, a teacher who has grown to become the principal of this institution. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Vasuma Achar. Greeting to all my wonderful students and parents. India is a rich mine of culture that has evolved through thousands of years and is manifested in the form of arts, literature, traditions, linguistic expressions, artifacts, heritage sites and much more. Millions of people from all over the world participate in, enjoy and benefit from this cultural wealth by visiting India for tourism, purchasing Indian handicrafts, appreciating Indian classical literature, practicing yoga and meditation, being inspired by Indian philosophy and enjoying India's diverse music and art. It is this culture and natural wealth that truly make India incredible India. This is the India that the founder principal of Vidyaniketan Public School, Srimati Prima Rajagopal, always wanted the children to grow up in. With a certain belief, she conceptualized the initiative India Insight. Her thought into this project was straightforward. Her passion and enthusiasm were to instill the spirit of India in children by creating awareness of our beautiful country's history, tradition and ethos. The preservation and promotion of India's cultural wealth must be given high priority. Cultural awareness is one of the major components in the development of children because it is only through the development of strong sense and knowledge of their own cultural history, arts, languages and traditions that children can build a positive cultural identity, self-esteem and appreciate other cultures and identities. It is heartening to witness the number of initiatives by the government of India like Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav to celebrate 75 years of progressive India and its glorious history, people, culture and achievements. This Mahatsav is dedicated to the people of India to materialize the Prime Minister's vision of igniting India 2.0 fueled by the spirit of Atmanirbhar Bharat. It is also encouraging to see initiatives like this being strongly promoted in the new education policy with a number of other programs to foster languages, art and culture in schools. Ek Bharat Sreshth Bharat being one of them. More than 100 destinations have been identified as a part of this project where educational institutions may send their students to study their social, political and cultural history and also their contributions to modern science. India Insight, an amazing grand OU which started in 2004 is diversifying this year by providing various platforms for debating and painting. It goes without saying 
that these events will take you closer to the heart and soul of our country. The reason why children should participate in India Inside is loud and clear. But don't forget what is equally important is how you contribute continually, consciously and work towards making a Sreshd Bharat reality. So I hope all of you will participate in the events with enthusiasm and feel and understand the cultural heritage of our country. Thank you. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today at India Insight. Yet another edition of this fabulous quiz brought to you by the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions. As this nation celebrates 75 years of its independence, the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions this year decided to extend what has been a fabulous quiz to celebrate India since the year 2004 to three events. The quiz, which you're all part of right now, a debate competition and a drawing competition, all for varying age groups. It's really nice to see the group extend the entire initiative beyond the quiz that it has been doing almost now for two decades. The quiz itself was a vision of the founding principle of the school Mrs. Prema Rajagopal, an erudite educator, a passionate Indian, someone who always wanted children to be equally passionate about their nation and the future of the nation. The right way to do that is to be proud of the knowledge of your country and the heritage that your country represents. But for the moment, ladies and gentlemen, in this journey, We've gone through grueling rounds on a digital platform to identify the top 32 contestants from across the world. You heard me right. We've got seven different countries which have taken part in this edition of India Insight now that everything is digital. But for now, we're beginning the quarterfinal journey with the first quarterfinal in the junior category. Remember, the quiz happens in two segments, the junior and the senior. So with us here today are kids who represent the junior fraternity from across different schools. This quarterfinal is an India quarterfinal for convenience of time and uh, difference of time between countries. Uh, we've slotted people according to their geographies. So here now, the first quarterfinal is an all India quarterfinal in that sense. I'm going to introduce our first eight quarterfinalists to you. Ladies and gentlemen, four out of these quarterfinalists will move into the semi-final of India Insight. Plus 50, no, plus 10 if they get it right, minus 10 if they get it wrong. 50 sometimes puts a lot of pressure on our children. As we go to the semi-final, maybe to celebrate 75 years, we'll make it 75 per question. For the moment, we'll play on a plus 10 and a minus 10. That's the scoring pattern. All questions are on the buzzer. Your buzzer has been activated. All questions will merely be read out by me. Nothing will appear on your screens. Before we move to any of those things, the questions, the points to identify the four, it's time for us to first take a look at who these eight children are who've qualified into the first quarterfinal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Qualifying as our first quarterfinalist here today, time for us to welcome all the way from Mumbai, representing Thakur Public School, Anumega Datta. Welcome to you. <music> Neighboring Anumega Datta is our second quarterfinalist here today from the city of Vadodara, representing the Ananda Vidya Vihar School is Ashwat. Welcome to you. As our third finalist from the historic city of Varanasi, 
the Prime Minister's constituency representing Sunbeam School, Aditya Jaiswal. <music> Neighboring Aditya is our next contender here today from Bengaluru, representing the Vidyaniketan Public School, Meet Jain. Welcome, Meet. Neighboring Meet as our next contender from Kolkata, representing the Adamas International School, Zaina. Welcome to you. <music> Neighboring Zaina from the historic Kendriya Vidyalaya of the Indian Institute of Science from Bengaluru, Aditya Gauda. Neighboring Aditya from the BGS NPS school at Bengaluru, Anish Anand. Welcome to you. And completing our lineup also from Bengaluru. We've got quite a few Bengaluru contestants here. Lining up as our final contestant from the prestigious army public school in this city, Pulin Varma. Those then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are eight contestants in the first quarterfinal of India Insight, the quiz, the junior category of the quarterfinal that you are witnessing, brought to you by the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions. Plus 10 if they get it right, minus 10 if they get it wrong. 10 questions is what I'm going to ask them. I'm going to read out the questions, so contestants, you have the luxury to decide when you want to press the buzzer. The moment you press the buzzer, I will stop reading the question because you're telling me you know the answer. Remember, four of you will qualify to the semi-final. So you decide when you want to stop buzzing if you think you have enough scores on the board. If we are ready, 10 questions from me. Time for us to play India Insight. The first quarterfinal. If all of you are ready, hands on the buzzer. We've unlocked the buzzers, starting with question number one. The name of which place in India, the name of which place in India originated from the Urdu word Dahaliz? The original Urdu word was Dahaliz. Zaina has gone for it. Yeah, Zaina. Is it Delhi? Absolutely well played. My options were actually Dehradun or Delhi. Delhi is absolutely right. She did not even wait for the options. The first 10 to Kolkata. As we go to the next one. Which city, which city in Gujarat is also called Karnavati, Surat or Ahmedabad. Anumega has gone for it. Ahmedabad. Is absolutely correct. She gets a plus 10 on that. Two of them on 10 apiece as we go to the third one. In which state of India? In which state of India would you find the temple town of Kanchipuram? Ashwat has gone for it. Yes, Ashwat. Sir, Tamil Nadu is the answer. Tamil Nadu will give him a plus 10. Three questions done. Three of them on plus 10. So the battle is going to get a little nervous. Let's see how we play on the next one. Question number four. Which famous technology company or IT company had a CEO named Mr. Ramadurai? Anumega has gone for it. Yes, Anumega. Tata Consi Services. Can you repeat that, Anumega? I said TCS Tata Consi Services. Is absolutely fine. She gets that right. She gets to 20 as we are done with four questions. As we go to question number five, Anumega in the lead. Two others on 10. The others will score very quickly. The pressure will begin to build. Question number five. 
I am a city. My name means pool of immortality through nectar. I am a city. Aditya Jaiswal has gone for it. Yeah, Aditya. Sir, Amritsar. Is correct. Amritsar is absolutely right. He gets a 10 pointer on that. Is Aditya Jaiswal. As we go to question number six, hands on that buzzer. Question number six. Here we go. Azim Premji lends his name to Aditya in a hurry. Go ahead, Aditya. Sir Vitro. Sorry? Sir Vitro. Minus 10 points to you. I heard you say Vitro, and there is nothing called Vitro. The answer is Wipro. Minus 10 points to you. I heard you very clearly on that. You said Vitro, minus 10 points to you on that. All right. Your audio is very, very clear. <clears throat> As we go to the next one, question number seven. Hands on the buzzer. Hyderabad and Sakindrabad are twin cities. They are famously separated by which river? Godavari. Aditya has gone for it again. Aditya, minus 10 points to you, pressing the buzzer and not answering the question. Minus 10. You got to press the buzzer and answer. You can't press the buzzer and keep waiting like that. The game is on the buzzer. Minus 10 points to you, Aditya. You got to be really fast in the way you play the game. Question number eight. Here we go. All hands on the buzzer. Three of you on the positives. One on the... No, four of you on the positives. Aditya Jaiswal is also on a positive. As we go to question number eight. Hands on the buzzer. Which famous cricketer who later became an umpire was the captain of the Indian cricket team during the 19... Sir, yes? Sir Venkat Ravanan. Minus 10 points to you. Venkat Ravanan is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Venkata Raghavan. Question number nine. Hands on the buzzer. My name comes from the city of Ananta. Ananta being a great lord who sleeps in his great expanse in this city. The city, Anumega has gone for it. She's in the lead and she's going to Tiruvananthapuram. Tiruvananthapuram. Tiruvananthapuram, better known in the English parlance as Trivandrum, is actually Tiruvananthapuram. Absolutely well played on 30. She will lead the way into the semi-final for sure. As the remaining three on 10 will pray. No one else presses the buzzer. So Zaina, Ashwat and Aditya Jaiswal will go through if nobody answers the last question. As we go on to the final question, hands on the buzzer. Here's the final question coming up for you. Captain Gopinath pioneered the idea of a low-cost airline in India. Was it Air India or Air Deccan that he thought of? Aditya has gone for it on the buzzer. Yes, Aditya. Air Deccan. Is absolutely correct. He was perfect, clear and correct on this occasion. As he gets a plus 10, he really warmed up a little late into the game. I feel sorry, but somehow he did give me wrong names and I had to be strict uh, because I will have to be fair to the other contestants. When you give a wrong name, it is a wrong answer. So I will have to be very, very fair as far as the others are concerned. My heart goes out to the young lad out there is Aditya. He's on minus 20, but he had the context right, but he gave me wrong names. So you can't give a wrong name. You can't call me Hari and say I'm Giri. So, you know, life is about giving the right names. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got four of them qualifying into the semifinal from the first quarterfinal. With us here today, leading the way into the semi-final with an authoritative score of 30, winning this quarter-final from Mumbai, Anumega Datta. After that, 
We don't have anybody in second, third or fourth. All of them in joint second position. We've got Zaina from Kolkata and we've got Ashwat who comes in from Vadodara and Aditya Jaiswal uh, who comes in, I think, from Varanasi. Is that correct? Aditya is from Varanasi. So you've got Kolkata, Vadodara, Varanasi and Mumbai qualifying into our first semi-final. Which of the semi-finals they are going to be in, we quite don't know. They might be in the same semi-final or in different semi-finals, depending on the time slots and the draw of lots. But for the moment, ladies and gentlemen, those are the four who move into the semi-final level of India Insight for the junior category. I want to congratulate the other four for qualifying into this stage. Extremely well done for Meet, Aditya, Anish and Poulin. Never easy to be in the top 32 of a world quiz. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, from me, Pig Brain, from all of us here, on behalf of the Vidyaniketan group of institutions, till we come back to you with the next quarterfinal, it's me, Pig Brain, signing off. Goodbye. Take care.